It's me. I'm back. Where have I been? Nowhere. Okay, so online language we're learning experts, they often like to they often like to put the blame for people's failure to learn languages on the school. No? At school, they made you try and learn in a certain way and you didn't learn. And if we if we have a revolution, yeah, and we abolish the school, yeah, and all language learning takes place, just say, on your own in your bedroom or on your own at home, then everything's good because you've got rid of the power that was holding you back. That's a sort of Marxist view of revolution, yeah? The power is held with the powerful, yeah? And you need to overthrow them. And once you've taken that power, it's all good. But Foucault, he would have said something different. He would have said, OK, that power exists. The school exerted that power over you to make you learn in a way that didn't work. But that power, not that power, power also exists in all of us. And that we hold ourselves back, yeah, by insisting on learning in a way that doesn't work. Now, Foucault didn't talk about language learning. I put those words into his mouth. Okay, but you see what I mean. So it's not just about saying, oh, once you stop learning languages in school and you're on your own, then you'll find a successful method, something that works for you. Because you don't exist, yeah, outside of history. History occurred, yeah, and it has a it bears a massive weight on you. Yeah? So all those years of people saying things like you got to memorise words. you got to learn the grammar. You've internalised that and you wield that power over yourself. And it is that power that you need to overthrow. Everybody has it within them. James, this is very odd. <laughs> well, do you see what I mean? So, like, when we have... When we're, we're, when we're confronted with a situation, yeah... It doesn't exist, the body outside of history, the abstract concept of the person on his own, taking his own decisions. That's why everybody seems to come to the same decisions, no? Because we're all there, part of history, and the power inside us, the history is acting upon us and telling us that if you learn a language, you need to learn grammar, and telling us, you know, there really is such a thing as standard language. And telling us, you know, pronunciation is a skill of the individual. It's not something that's between the speaker and the listener. All of those things, a new idea, that second idea, for example, is a new idea. And it goes against what we have internalised. So it is not the case that everything you do, just because it's outside the school and outside the power or the authority of the school is therefore liberating yourself from history and everything that went wrong with your language learning. No. Everything you do as a language learner is influenced by what you have internalised as knowing about language learning. And it is that that you need to therefore overthrow. So you need to question ideas all the time. Somebody wrote the other day on Twitter, you can learn a language in any way. Well, what they really meant is all these ways that I've heard of and internalised are good. Some of them aren't. Some of them are just wielding power over you. It's tyrannical power, yeah, that you're wielding over yourself. So you need to move away from things like memorising words. Because it's not that they're working. That's not what's saying yes, yes, yes. What's, wor what's saying yes, yes, yes is this tyrannical power of history that's telling you that this type of things works. Same with standard language. There is no such thing of standard language. Of course there isn't. Why would there be? Why would there be a standard way of speaking a language that millions of people speak? Of course there isn't. But... 
inside you, history, and all that you have learned from that history, not necessarily consciously, in fact, probably not, is telling you that there is such a thing as a standard language. I saw a tweet the other day, and it said something like, language learners, language learners, just by the mere fact that they want to learn a language, this account quite annoys me actually, just by the mere fact that they want to learn a language, have a greater insight into pedagogy and are less likely to racialize others. Well, we've seen that that's not true. There's loads of language YouTubers on the internet who racialize people. Yeah, and there's loads of people who don't have a special insight into pedagogy. Or both of these things are influenced by the history. They're influenced by the power that history has over you and that conventions have over you and that what is right has over you. And if you're not challenging them, then you don't have a special insight. The mere fact that I'm a language learner makes me less likely to be racist because I have an open mind. That's not true. It makes you less likely to be racist if you listen to people who have been victims of racism and accept their point of view and accept their perspective, yeah? Not just because you chose to learn a language. That is history's power telling you, I, the lovely liberal, do not bear any grudge against anybody. I mean, therefore, have a special insight into things like racism and uh, uh, pedagogy. You don't. You have to reflect on them. You have to get rid. There has to be a revolution in your head, yeah, of the Foucaultian type, where you rid yourself of the power that you have, the power that history and convention have over you. I'm beginning to worry this video doesn't make sense, but I'll move on. So it is really important to challenge ideas within ourselves. It is not just enough to overthrow the school and say no more language learning in school. It is not sufficient. That's what, that's what every revolution in history has found, no? You overthrow the conservative government, what happens? Everyone's got the conservatives within them. You need to overthrow that as well. And that's why they don't work. <laughs> So you need to challenge, because these beliefs don't come from nowhere, conventions about language learning and overthrow them. And then, then you might be able to say, you might, and I might, that we have an open mind. But we certainly don't have an open mind just because we decided to learn a language. It's a very odd comment. I, 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 I challenged, I quote tweeted and challenged, but nobody got back to me. They don't. Okay, that's James, future multilingual. Reading too much Foucault, asking you to subscribe to the channel and like the video. And uh, yeah, see you later.